Hi, today we're going to talk about smart systems and how smart systems are relevant to circuit breakers and low voltage equipment. And really what drives the demand for smart systems? Well, in today's world, we want to have energy awareness, we want to have interconnectivity, predictive and preventative maintenance, managed services. All of those are critical to the demand of smart systems. So, so what is a smart system? It's a system that connects low voltage equipment, circuit breakers, uh, other equipment, low voltage equipment such as what we see here with motor control centers, switchboards, panel boards. We'll talk about load centers later on. How that low voltage equipment communicates over Ethernet protocol or, or Modbus protocol over TCP IP and then gives the user embedded web pages that communicates that information in a user-friendly data readout on either a laptop or even a smartphone. So what's the circuit breaker telling you? Well, the breaker's telling you all of the same things that breakers have always told users. We're just doing it now through a smart system. Has the breaker opened or closed? Has the breaker tripped? Has the breaker tripped due to an overload, due to a short circuit? It gives the user alarm status, preventative maintenance, etc. Also can give the user information on breaker aging. What is the contact wear on the circuit breaker? So it's providing the user much information that is needed in today's critical uptime environment. We also offer smart systems in residential applications called the WISER system and it looks like a conventional load center. What inside of the load center, embedded in the load center, is that same smart system. Now, obviously this is a current trend for luxury and energy efficient homes, but that's not to say that I can't put it in any other application other than those environments. But that's the primary focus of the Wiser Energy Center. It's accomplished through current transformers that measure the amperage draw at, at every breaker level. So if you've got a breaker that's connected to your electric water heater, your furnace, it's going to give information relative to all of those in-use loads. And with the energy monitoring hub, it connects to a wireless network and enables monitoring to the homeowner uh, through, again, a smart system that will give them information on their laptop, their iPad, their iPhone, etc. Here's some information that we would typically see. You can see that we're monitoring a home in Orlando. Uh, they uh, currently have a $133 charge in January. So with this monitoring capability, you're able to monitor your home throughout the entire course of your billing cycle. This is just a breakdown of all of the individual loads within a system. So you see your HVAC, your water heater, your pool pump. Uh, so if maybe my pool pump is an older pool pump and it's very inefficient, uh, the user would be able to see that that pool pump is the primary culprit in their expensive electric bill. Now we kind of move on to commercial and industrial applications, and obviously with the wiser application, we're talking about miniature breakers, QO breakers being in that QO load center. Now we're getting into more of the power pack breakers and the master pack breakers that utilize the micrologic trip units. And so if the user is on a mod bus connection, the MicroLogic trip unit is connected to an IFM that you see on the left. That's going to communicate all of that data uh, that the breaker is communicating over a mod bus connection. The middle device that you see here is an IFE that would communicate that information over an Ethernet interface. And then out on the far right, you have the COMEX, which is the server that would then connect all of that information to the in-use product, again being the smartphone, the laptop, etc. So what this particular information shows is an entire system. 
So over on the far left, you see a master pack breaker. It's connected through an input-output module, the I.O. module. You see some display units that can be mounted right on the enclosure door of either the switchboard or the switch gear that that uh, master pack is, is embedded in. Out on the far right, uh, you see some power pack breakers. They are all connected through an IFM, a Modbus connection, and all of this ties into the very top device, which again is that COMX device. Really what smart systems are doing for our users is giving them critical information on in, in a just-in-time fashion, a real-time fashion, so to speak. And it's really just the beginning. Uh, we're beginning to see the smart systems developing, and there's a lot more to come. Mm -hmm.